Over 80% of high school students report being bullied because of their real or perceived sexual orientation. But only 18% of LGBT students say their schools offer policies to protect them from harassment. What's being done to help create safe schools for everyone? Hello everyone and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined by Jody Huckabee, Executive Director of PFLAG. Jody, welcome to the program. Thank you, Robert. That number makes me ill. Over 80%. Um, can you define for us what is bullied? Uh, well, so what we see in schools across the country, Robert, is, is a, a terrible trend. So many young people are feeling, uh, are actually being uh, harassed, they're being discriminated against because of their actual, as you said, their actual sexual orientation or, or their gender identity. Or maybe yeah, even perceived. Or certainly they're perceived. People just assume, well, if they act differently. Sure. Maybe they're not uh, acting within the typical gender norms. Sure. Or not acting male enough. They're not acting enough like a guy or enough like a girl. Uh, that perception about their gender identity, their gender expression, their sexual orientation, the bullying and the harassment is persistent and far too frequently, as reported, only 18% of schools actually have policies in place to address this issue. Jody, why is that? Is it because of the lack of ignorance um, at, the, at the administrative level, or is it uh, fear of fear? What, what is it? Well, it's all of those things. First of all, there are no federal laws in place that address this issue. So we're working as PFLAG with a number of organizations on the Safe School Improvement Act, the Student Non-Discrimination Act, which would specifically address these issues and require schools to put policies into place, to put training into place for teachers and school administrators and school counselors, and, and training for students so students understand these issues. A lot of schools really want to do something about these issues. They just don't have the resources. They sure. don't have the education or the knowledge to do it. Jody, you mentioned the students and, and the resources. What about the parents? What about the parents uh, or the family members uh, that are watching this program at home? What type of resources um, are available to them? Well, fortunately, there are a number of resources. PFLAG is a national family and parent organization working with LGBT people across the country on a wide range of issues, including helping to create safer schools for all. So with 350 chapters across the country, go to, go to our website at pflag.org, find a, a chapter that's closest to you, and find out if that chapter is able to be a resource to do things specifically in, in the schools to offer training to, to teachers, to offer training to school counselors, to do presentations. Sure. What is it like for a parent to have a child who comes out in school? Mm. What's it like for a student? A stu from a student's perspective, a student who identifies differently in terms of their gender identity or the way they express their gender. Um, it's really important that people learn peer-to-peer, -peer, learn from parents and family members, and PFLAG is doing a lot of that work across the country. Jody, we have a little bit over a minute left. Uh, this is very important, so I want to get this in. Talk to us about your Care with Pride campaign. Sure. For our second, uh, second year now, PFLAG is partnering with Johnson & Johnson Family of Companies uh, to do a, a very unique uh, campaign that uh, helps promote Johnson & Johnson's amazing products uh, that they make uh, throughout the, the country and distribute across the world, and, and partnering with PFLAG to support PFLAG's work. So there are a number of we, coupon books and coupon distribution. People can go to uh, pflag.org for more information or to carewithpride.com to learn more information about the facts, get the facts on bullying and harassment, what it is that they can do in their local communities. And, and we're, we're really fo uh, fe featuring our um, campaign this year on our founder, Jean Manford, mm. who died uh, this year in January. Um, she was a hero to many, many people. And so we encourage people, who are your heroes? Text um, the word hero um, mm. and then don donate $5 and Johnson & Johnson will match that to support our work. You know, Jody, you mentioned, uh, obviously this is very important work in the LGBT community, but is it only for LGBT individuals? Uh, to go back to uh, the parents that I mentioned a few moments ago, can this uh, be open to straight individuals as it, well? It's for everyone. The, the reality is that when, when uh, bullying harassment happens in, in the classroom, learning stops for everyone. It's not just the kid who's perceived to be gay or the kid who is LGBT. The reality is, is we're working on helping to create safer schools for all students because learning is critically important sure. and so everyone can get involved in the campaign. And also breaking down those stereotypes, which is very important. But Jody Huckabee, Executive Director of PFLAG, thank you very much for joining us and keep up the good work. Thank you, Robert. Thanks for having me. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.